Hi everybody, have you guys ever wondered what it is that we're spraying on the birds during intake exams or recheck exams? We are using Lice Spray, a water-based pyrethrin spray, which is naturally derived from chrysanthemum flowers. And this is a pesticide that we spray on the birds and it is known to be a safe and effective way to kill flies, louse, and mites. There are five major groups of ectoparasites. We have parasitic flies, lice, mites, fleas, and ticks. Some of these species will feed on the flakes of the bird's skin, while most will feed by piercing the bird's skin and sucking their blood and other fluids. In the raptors that we most commonly see here at ARC, we are usually seeing the malophagia chewing lice or, li or louse and mites as well. So overall, ectoparasites like these are actually relatively common for birds found out in the wild, and those are healthy birds as well. But the problem becomes when these infestations get even bigger and they become a burden on the bird's overall health and their ability to keep their feathers warm and healthy. The interesting thing about these guys is that these louse are actually host specific. So if they jump off the bird, they only survive for about a week or so. Oftentimes they'll climb onto us when we are doing our avian admit exams, but luckily for us, they don't stay long because our body temps are much too cold compared to the general 103 to 107 degree Fahrenheit temperature we typically see in our avian patients. So from here, let's take a look at this chewing louse underneath the microscope. You can see its mouth parts and antenna. It's our job to control these ectoparasites to make sure the patient can focus on healing from whatever injury they may have come in with and not on being overloaded with these guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about these ectoparasites that we typically find on our avian patients. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. We'd love to answer anything else you are interested in and making future videos.